morning guys, welcome back. I am Breadeye, this is another episode of my world tour series where I show you around my worlds that I've built um, and you know we're gonna have a look at things I built in the past and uh, things I am still working on, worlds I have been on in a while, worlds I've been neglecting for a while and just have some fun looking at my earlier builds, looking at my, you know, old, uh, newer builds, see how my building style evolved, stuff like that. So, this is my main survival, survival world that I'm still playing on. Um, it's called Lily Ocean because of, yeah, it's big ocean with a lot of lily pads on it. Um, and yeah, I really like this map, so I uh, decided to start playing a uh, survival on it, and um, turned out really nice. I really like what I've accumulated here. Um, so yeah, this is my um, main base, you could call it, I guess. It's um, uh, it's my my house, and there's sheep here. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's it's like a little. Well, it's not little. It's pretty big. It's a shack, and I have storage in here. I have uh, some nice trees, some you know, some some sugar cane. Uh, I have my enchanter here. I have my bed here. This is just my my main hangout place. Um, and I I really like what I did here actually, because um, I've got like this crafting station. Everything's is is close to each other and you know it's everything you need actually um, I've built like a little garden here uh, not too much um, so uh, this is a, a zombie trap I built but it doesn't really work as of this version as of yet so um, I hope it will in the future because it's supposed to attract zombies but maybe I did something wrong or, or something I think there need to be signs on the side here but I'm not really sure, or like trapdoors. Um, but the tutorial I looked on it didn't mention that, so I guess I just did something wrong. But the zombies are supposed to fall in and die uh, as they try to catch this guy. Um, don't worry about that guy, he had bad traits, so he deserved it. Um, so yeah, I uh, started this world back when, uh, back before villagers actually did anything, um, so I didn't have any emeralds, I didn't have any nether quartz, I didn't have any uh, carrots, I didn't have any potatoes, so I actually had to, um, you know, get so, uh, some kind of measure so I could, you know, get myself some of those resources. So I built myself a um, villager spawner right here. Um, it's just a basic design with some, you know, weirdness about it. Um, and these two guys escaped. They, their trades are... Well, yeah, that's... I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, that's pretty bad. Um, but I'm just... I'm still waiting for these guys to get eaten by zombies. Um, but they think this is their village, so they stay around here. Um, I'm still waiting for them to get eaten by zombies and just burn up in the sunlight, actually. But it doesn't seem to happen. I don't know why. Uh, down here, there is the um, villager system. You step on the pressure plate, guard goes back and forth, you see if you like the villager that it picks out, if it doesn't, you kill it, because if you kill it with your sword, uh, the other villagers will dislike you uh, for killing one of their kind. If you like it, you just send it downstairs, and downstairs there's kind of like a storage room for villagers, I guess. Actually, this is kind of like horrible for them, I guess, but still. Um, so yeah, that's my the way I made to get myself some emeralds. Um, to get myself some nether quartz, I actually had to reset my entire nether, which was kind of painful, I guess, because I was um, in the middle of building a tunnel there uh, to connect some stuff, um, which I had to redo, um, which is like have done right now I guess but I'm not gonna show you that yet because um, you know brown sheep that's nice I guess Such a lot of sheep around here all of a sudden I really don't know why um, out here out, ugh, out here we've got my uh, sugar cane farm this is a basic design um, 
it, if you press the lever, the blocks retract and, you know, sugar cane goes down. Um, it's basic, It's but it works, so that's all that matters. This was a tree farm, but it's just, this is early game stuff right here. So uh, I needed this to be able to build that. I needed a lot of wood, because uh, I like to build with a bunch of wood. Um, and, you know, I had to have some way to, to supply this. Um, but right now I've got a uh, wood farm downstairs because I actually have a really big cave system. Well, I wouldn't say, yeah, it's pretty big actually. Um, and I've connected all of those up, um, you know, kind of like if you've ever seen Ethos Lab, is a uh, single player world, um, is... His house thingy is called the... He calls it the man cave. And I kind of stole the design, I guess. Um, and put some of my own stuff in there. Uh, like the grass. The grass is something he does. Like a cave with grass in it. Uh, and then I, you know, got myself some wood details in there. Because he likes to use a lot of hardened clay and stuff. And he really knows how to make that look cool. Uh, but I don't, so... I don't use it. Um, down here is my nether portal that goes um, to the nether, of course. Um, and I kind of hooked it up to some node blocks because I like that. Down here we've got my sheep, my trusty sheep. I've died this sheep so many times I lost count. And, you know, it's always been here. It can get out. I can get in. Wow, weird lag there. Um, and I really like the guy or the girl. I don't know. It's a sheep. Um... Here we've got this kind of outdated farm for melons and uh, pumpkins. I am debating to, uh, well, with myself to change these out to all melons because I'm kind of getting a lot of pumpkins and I don't really do anything with them. And the melons is kind of like my emergency food if I'm running low on food, if I've been in, in the nether for a long time or something and I don't have any food. Like laying around somewhere I, I probably have because i've got a bunch but then i come down here get some food really quick um because it's easy and it you know it doesn't replenish much but it's basically free you just step on here boop, a lot of free food so you know that's awesome um we've got our my, well my pigs um and they are well they spawned down here in the cave and i, I had to you know leads weren't yet in the game so it was with weeds, just like get them in there. Some chicken got in, I don't know how, but, you know. It did it, and now it's one of my pets too. I keep them around, I don't want to kill them or anything. They're just, they're awesome. I want to find name tags for these guys too, and also for my sheep. Because, you know, I, I don't have name tags in this world though, because it's an old world, so that's bad. But when I move on to another world, maybe, and leave this one behind, if I ever do that. I will maybe creative summon because I don't do any cre anything creative. Well, building is creative, I guess, but I don't use creative mode on this world because um, if you do that on Xbox 360 edition, you will lose the ability to get achievements, and I don't want that. I like my achievements, and I haven't gotten them all yet, so uh, still working on that. Um, so yeah, down here there's my tree farm. That's why the other one upstairs isn't used anymore um, and it's well it's a good farm the, the tree the wood and the saplings and such fall in the water and they come just they get down here and I kind of want to make a hopper system or something um, and also for the chicken farm that's here Get some eggs because uh, right now I need to do all of this manually which is kind of a pain in the ass um, also one flaw with this system is uh, I kind of went with the theme of wood um, so the ceiling is made out of wood which is bad because now the trees when they grow they think oh that's part of my tree and when I don't cut that down the leaves don't respawn the uh, don't despawn so I can't really do that because then I would have to tear everything out of there and I don't want to do that because that cost me a lot of time uh, down here well in here there's most of the time there's a few X's in here um, just stone axes or iron, I don't know, something to cut down a little bit faster. 
Um, here is the chicken farm, and here is my snowman farm. Um, this guy is the supply for all the snow I ever use because I don't really have a taiga biome anywhere on this map because it's an Xbox 360 map, of course, because this is Xbox 360. Yeah, you see down there, it says exit and stuff. Um, so they're they're limited the maps they're not infinitely spawning um and for that reason well i i had some bad luck and not none spawned on this map with this seed so yeah that's pretty annoying because i i don't have any um how do you call it any spruce wood either uh so yeah I don't, I don't like that, that's why I use a lot of oak. This is my, my slime chunk, well, it's two slime chunks. Um, and I'm, I, I, I am planning to make a, a slime farm down here. But, you know, then I have to dig out some more and it's gonna waste my pickaxe and stuff. So, it's, it's gonna be a project that I want to finish sometime. But it's not gonna get finished probably, um, because I need to dig all of this out till bedrock, and then I need to dig up a bunch, and then I then I need to dig the sides out so the water channels can flow down, and the the collection area needs to be down there, and then it, they need to be let up, and then I have to, I, like I want a system where it can switch between um, the manual mode where they die till they are like small slimes, and then they go into a storage chamber which you can just punch them and get some XP or another system where it automatically collects them when I switch it so it goes into a cage with some iron golems they kill it and it collects it with hoppers stuff like that so that will cost a lot of time and I don't know if I will ever do that um, but it, it's a possibility it's definitely a possibility because I, I actually like slimes a lot they're a nice mob they're well designed and um, they just look so cute I, I really like them uh, so I kind of want to do something with those and yeah that so the the building that we're in right now this little house is actually the first house I ever built on this world not not the first my starter house was all the way over there behind those mountains um, and it was just an apartment made out of cobblestone and it looked horrible so I tore it down because I didn't like it anymore and yeah there's just an empty space there it's, I, I'm planning on making something there I'm kind of I want to make like an iron golem farm over there because it's far away from uh, any village and from my village bre villager breather uh, so that I should be able to do that but I want to make it. Uh, I want to make it look like the uh, Iron Golem farm. It's gonna look like a factory. So it's. I want to, you know, to give the impression that it's been polluting the area and that the dirt's gone away. So I kind of want to dig out all the dirt and have it like a um, just look like a stone wasteland with some uh, some foul fumes. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I heard some burning. Why did I hear burning? Something on fire. Please don't tell me anything is on fire. Hmm. Must have been my imagination. Uh, so down here is my solution for my um, my carrots and my potato problem. I know zombies drop them. Are these furnaces? Yeah. I kind of like to use furnaces as a building block. Because I think they have a nice texture. Um, so yeah, as you see here, this is my zombie farm. It's a basic zombie farm, nothing special about it. But it has gotten me a bunch of stuff. Some iron, some potatoes, some carrots. A uh, bunch of XP down here. Haven't finished this room yet. Uh, so it's still ugly. But, you know, it's getting there. There they go. Come on. Come on. It's, it's just basic, there's a spawner over there, water channels leading them into a elevator, elevator goes up, goes to the side, lets them fall down here, and they're almost a one-shot kill, not entirely. There, there, you have to like punch them two or three times most of the time. 
There's one. Let's see? Three three hits there. So yeah. Um it's not entirely perfect, but it does the trick. You you know you can make a stone sword, doesn't cost anything, it's basically free. Stone is a free resource. Oh that's what I heard burning. Forgot there's fire down here. Um Tree is a free resource, cobblestone are free resources, so you can make them free, basically, I guess. Um, so, you know, you could do that, and then we have got a way up there, which is like an island kind of thing. I want to make a uh, custom tree up there, so in the at, bleh, at the beginning of the video you saw me lay down in my bed there. And you could see this part with the sun going down and I kind of want to make a tree so you know the, the view would be kind of nice um, this is my train station down here is my boat dock ouch uh, you know basically just so it looked nice and I had some kind of way to travel all the way over there because there is a city a, a village over there and that's actually where my uh, initial three villagers I think came from uh, I had to transform them transfer them with minecarts all the way over there and I didn't have a mine shaft yet so I had to make all of the rails myself it took a bunch of iron but still I did it I have my villagers I can trade stuff now I'm happy um, and this boat dock came really came in really handy because I then I didn't have to go back and forth on foot all the time this is my trace train little train station man I really can't speak English today it's horrible um, so down here there's a minecart you put the minecart on here you go sit in it you just press the button and you're off um, the other side of my train station I haven't completed yet because this is a work in progress this area because this is where I'm building my mountain village um, yeah, I started building this mountain village when um, I, I heard from some outside sources, um, nothing official or anything, that um, they were gonna try to put some mods into the Xbox 360 edition, because they know the community of Minecraft, there's, there's a big modding community on Minecraft, because, you know, like, Thumbcrafters, stuff like that, they're really big mods, they're really awesome, I really hope they bring it on here. Um, so I thought, I need a place to put all of the stuff that those mods do, and the crafting benches, and the machines, and the, you know, the atomic work table, or stuff like that. Um, so I built this village, just to have some space, and just because I needed a project, and I was bored. Uh, so we have a water mill, waterfall, behind the waterfall there's a little temple which I'm still working on. Um, this face is gonna lead down, the, 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 like his throat is leading down to a graveyard, it's not yet finished. Uh, the, up there there's a, a garden, I almost stepped in some lava, that's, the, that's really dangerous. Um, we have a statue of a dwarf because I kinda like, you know, it's a dwarven city, it definitely looks like a dwarven city. There's too dang many finds. It you know that face, the mustache thingy, the the fact that you know, the lava in the forge, you know, leaking down. It's a statue. It's just the dwarven city. You can't you can't mistake it for anything else. And down here, you know, dwarves, really small hallways. There is uh, the seat of the king with his round table. It's still Minecraft because it, it's not round. Um, so yeah, this is like the, the gathering place for all of the knights or something, I don't know. But it looks kind of cool, I am pretty happy with this. Um, the statue kind of looks weird. He's a, you know, he's a bit of a derp. Da behind there, there's actually a house, which I built, that was the first house that I built here. Um, yeah, but the, the statue kind of, you know, because it's a statue you can't really see it. It's, you know, kind of horrible actually put so much work in that initial house figuring out how I, was, I, how, how I was going to build this place and then just ruined it with a statue in front of it uh, so yeah this is my survival world I hope you have enjoyed it uh, I also really enjoyed this melon it's really tasty uh, please leave a like if you have leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you think 
of my uh, videos, have some suggestions, maybe some series I'd like to see, um, some more informations. I can do tutorials if you want me to. Uh, so yeah, tell me in the comments below. Uh, I see you next time, I hope. Um, and yeah.